Hi, this is Russ from Studio One Expert, and I want to show you a really cool trick you can do in Studio One Full, which is use it in live mode. What do I mean by live mode? Well, a little known feature that's now in Impact XT is the ability to quantize your triggers. Now, what do we mean by quantizing a trigger? What it means is effectively, it doesn't matter when you hit the note live, that it will then trigger uh, so it's in beat. So what I mean by that is if you've got a, a loop and if you hit it slightly late or slightly early, then it doesn't sync up and it could be a real pain in the ass. So I want to show you first what I mean by that. So I'm going to just mute this MIDI I've got at the moment because I'm going to use this MIDI in a moment to show you something else. So I'll, I'll, start, I'll start the door going. There's a click track going. Now, what I've got is some loops here and I've got them quantized for the triggers. And I've also got them following the tempo of the track. So if I press any notes, I've got some hi-hats, as you can see, on, on a D1. I've also got, a, a on C1, uh, I've got a, a riff, a drum loop. Now, what you didn't see, and I'll show you that in the timeline in a minute, is as I'm hitting them, because I'm using this feature here called Quantize, I can choose different things to come in at different times. So that one I've got quantized to the bar, so it will not play until it reaches the next possible bar. And if it's off, it will play straight away. So if I play the, uh, in fact, I'm going to double this up, actually, because this will make this easier to hear. So, and actually, a quick extra tip for free here is if you want to play tighter then run uh, your your metronome uh, eight eight to the bar on the four to the bar so when it plays now you'll hear this now what I've done now is turn the quantize off so if I press and if I get that wrong you can hear now that's slightly out with the metronome annoyingly and the here now the hi-hats are out it's it's gone to pieces. So when I put the quantas on, I want the, the, the loops to start on a per bar basis. I've then got hi-hats that start on a beat basis. So if you look them, bar, quarters, eighths, sixteenths, that's basically what it means. It's all backwards in a way. But basically, it's, it's, it comes in much quicker depending on how you set this. So if I've got that to beats now, the next available beat it will start playing, next, next available quarter note actually. So if I play this now, again with the metronome going, hear it playing. It means you could play in live mode. So I've got Hyatt's and coming in, tambourine, take the tambourine back out. So all of these are synced to the beat. And none of this comes in until it reaches the next available setting I've got. So it means you can play live. Let's drop the first one out now, keep the others in. Drop the E out now. Let's bring C1 back in again. Two, three. Now I pressed the note way before the bar started, but it's in sync. So you can use it live. Hats back out, tambourine back out. So you can see the trigger's actually triggering before they start audibly playing. Now the possibilities then are of course really powerful because what it then means is you can basically have a song set up on pads instead of along the timeline and you can use it live you could trigger a chorus to repeat you could have verses dropping in and out it's, it's down to your imagination it just takes a little bit of figuring out when you first set up a song so if you've got a song you want to take out live then if you basically work out the components you want to run all the way through the song and the bits you want to drop in and out so you might have the beat going all the way through but you might want raps coming in or bvs or stuff like that then this is a super cool way now i've also set it up here in the timeline so you can actually see it 
working visually, which for you may make more sense. So let me show you that now. So if you can see here, down here, can you see that this is the C1? And as you can see, it hits before the, before the second bar plays, but watch what happens. We've got these all set with these quantized triggers. Tambourine, that was the hats in on the beat. But watch the green one that's coming up now. That's the next beat. It's way early, but it won't play to the eighth bar. Finally, I've got a cymbal that sucks up, which is great. It's over here. So there we are. Studio One Four now has a live mode, which means you can trigger loops that come in on the beat, which makes this incredibly powerful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.